everyone welcome back to our channel and this is the fifth and last video for practical based questions of class 10 CBSE chemistry well in the previous four videos we have covered entire concept required to be able to answer practical based questions and in this video I'm going to share two questions for the example sake and these two questions are also important let us solve them and understand if you have learned properly from the past videos or not done so let's get started with the question here is the first question don't go over the question number in fact this question has been picked up from my book which has 50 practical based questions so let's read the question what is the color sorry what is the order of the gases produced on thermal decomposition of ferrous sulfate this has been asked at least two times till now in the board examinations so let us deal with this question and also remember when you talk about the order or smell of the gas you have to be very specific you should not write it like okay pungent or strong or whatever like that as we have discussed in the second video of practical based questions well a series we have to be writing the smell of the gases in very particular first let us see what happens when ferrous sulfate is thermally decomposed when you take ferrous sulfate and strongly heat it it breaks down to give you iron oxide followed by so2 and so3 so2 and so3 are two sulfur gases and now you think what is the smell or the order of so2 and so3 could you recall it if you are thinking to say to be maybe rotten egg smell or something no that is not the right answer rotten egg smell is given by h2s i also told you to be very careful about it because yes you get confused at this point so so2 and so3 are the gases which have this burning sulfur like smell right so the smell of these two gases is burning sulfur like or it, it just smells like when when sulfur is being burnt the smell observed is very similar to this smell. that's why we say it as so this is an important question so this is about it let's get into next question without any more delay but before we could get there let me just quickly tell you these two questions that we are going to solve in this video that we are solving already in this video are not actually enough for your preparation you would have to practice more questions and you don't need to worry from where should i get these practice questions as i have discussed in part four of our series there is a book which you can download for free and you can solve those 50 practical based questions for free right when you can get something for free why delay done so download the book from amazon kindle app and practice do very well in your exams and now let's go to the next one there you go here is a long question but then yes it's an interesting one let's read the question first a water insoluble substance mm -hmm. x on reacting with a dilute with a sample of dilute h2s before releases a colorless and odorless gas and this gas is observed in form of a brisk effervescence so now if you have watched the previous four videos carefully and clearly by the time you read this word brisk effervescence the name of the gas should come into your head don't look at the answer over there okay it's about you being able to apply your knowledge but not looking at the answer given at the bottom of the page right so the gas which is evolved in form of brisk effervescence is definitely carbon dioxide followed by let's continue reading the question when this gas gas is passed through water just water okay it's not lime water just water the solution obtained is turned blue litmus into red and what can turn blue litmus into red acid can turn blue litmus into red right so now the solution is acidic by nature and now continuing the question or bubbling the gas through lime water it initially became milky and later the smilkiness disappeared when excess of gas is passed through the solution and now you have to identify what is x and you also should be able to write the chemical equations writing chemical equations is important here so now let's begin the gas is carbon dioxide we already have estimated it and the carbon dioxide when added to water what is happening the equation is not written over here let's write it when carbon dioxide is added to water here here 
what happens it leads to formation of h2co3 we call h2co3 as carbonic acid and now if you remember this carbonic acid is something called as soda water this is the one present in pepsi thumbs up mirinda coke etc etc all the aerated drinks and this is acid it turns red litmus into blue and moving on when the same gas is passed through carbon dioxide sorry through lime water what happens they two react with each other leads to formation of calcium carbonate the color of calcium carbonate is milky and it's a precipitate remember i told you in last video also part 4 also calcium carbonate it's a solid by nature but then when it is in presence of water it behaves as a precipitate which has milky or curdy color so the milkiness appears due to formation of carbon calcium carbonate and now when you have this calcium carbonate through which you are passing excess of carbon dioxide still then what happens this excess of carbon dioxide further reacts with calcium carbonate this in turn leads to formation of calcium bicarbonate and this calcium bicarbonate is water soluble and that's how it gives you a colorless or a transparent appearance to the solution right so these are the equations but before everything what about the first equation when calcium carbonate reacted with h2so4 you know it right when salts or metals react with acids they undergo double displacement or single displacement respectively so here you are having a salt reacting with h2so4 leads to a double displacement reaction along with h2o and co2 as told before these two questions are just like an exercise after you have learnt the concept but just watching these five videos is not actually enough to be able to solve all the practical based questions that come in your exam as told before make sure you download the book for free which has 50 practical based questions also the book has information about the observations just be there i'll take you through the book you can use it from here itself i hope you see the label of the book cbse 10 chemistry practical based questions so this book has been authored by me the first page of the book do you see this it has all the chemical equations with the observation and also the reason behind the observation and this follows uh, this is the preview of the book you would have to download it so that you are able to get access to the remaining 50 practical based questions you so you see the contents right chemical reactions observations colors of the compounds common names and 50 practical based questions so for this to be downloaded you just have to log into amazon kindle app and download it thereby you can quickly revise all the practical related stuff i hope you download it and i hope you rock your practical based questions and get four on four in chemistry practical based questions done so until then let me take leave if you're liking these videos do not forget to like share with your friends those who actually need it and also subscribe to the channel to get access to the upcoming videos so guys work hard until then bye bye everyone